Hi, welcome to Aquarium Amster. Today I'll be viewing this JDM Master LED fog light. And the one for my vehicle is the H11. If you're not sure which one's for your vehicle, just head to the JD Master website. This is the Honda CRV. The H11 also fits the Honda Accord as well. Now, let me show some of the specs for this unit. It's 2200 lumens per LED bulb, so that's 4400 in total. It is waterproof, IP65, very long operating life, a wide temperature range, built in a heat sink. Now, I got this one because actually I, I spoke with the JD Master folks and see what they recommended, and they suggested getting this one because with the fog light for this one right here, the casing and the enclosure inside is pretty compact. So if I got one that was too bright, uses too much watts, it will actually shorten the lifespan of this. Here's the product manual. So I show the pages of it first, so you get an idea of the steps to install this item. Some of the tools I'll be using, a flat screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a pair of gloves, flashlight. Now, for my vehicle, uh, I'll, I need this. For some other cars, you can probably just access it, access your fog light easily, but not for mine. And also, there is this bolt. If you have an adjustable wrench, you can remove this bolt. Or if you have like a 10 millimeter socket, you can remove it too. And I just find it easier to lift my vehicle up. That way the wheel is out of the way. And you don't have to remove the wheel. I just happen to be rotating my car tires. This bolt that I mentioned before, this is holding on the bottom piece over here. Follow this over here, just follow it along the path so you get a general idea of how many of these clips you need to re remove. You don't have to remove all these clips, just enough so that you can pry this liner back. And this is when the flashlight comes in handy. If you've done this before, sure, if not, the part with the green tab, that is the, the fog light enclosure. So I just need to press, hold on to that. Let me just move it closer. So you need to hold on to that. Turn it counterclockwise to remove the bulb. It's hard for me to show it here, but just press on the bottom part of this tab and then I can just pull the fog light bulb right out. And here's the halogen bulb. The halogen bulb still works. I'm gonna keep around, use it as spare. For the LED one, the length is the same as the halogen. And for the back, it's a little bit, it protrudes a little bit more, now twice. But it's actually a lot shorter in total length for the butt than their competitors because, well, they don't have like a, a fan built into it, it's just a heat sink. And it's important to have one with a smaller butt for the fog light, at least for my vehicle, because the fog light enclosure is very cramped in there. So the bulb is screwed on with these three tabs. The wider tab faces the top when it's finally screwed in. So currently I'm going to slide it back into the slot, which would be about this position. Push it in, then turn it clockwise. Just look at it from the front. JDM's almost horizontal. It's tilted a bit. Now I'm gonna start turning it clockwise. Then I'll feel a little clip. When I can't go anymore, now it's in position. The new LED bulb is installed, and the power connector is also connected. And this is what I meant by how I appreciate that the butt doesn't protrude backward too much because it's very cramped in there. Before you place the liner back, lower the vehicle, just turn on the fog light and make sure it works. I'm about 25 feet from a vehicle and the camera's held about 4 feet above the ground. The JD Maystar is on driver's side. And the warm white halogen that's on the passenger side, that's the stock light from Honda. With the JD Maystar, I think it's well worth it. It looks great. No flicker, not from my eye. And looking at the camera, it's not even flickering on the camera either. Now it costs about $60. Installation, as I demonstrated, can be very simple, depending on your vehicle. I have nothing negative to say about this fog light, because everything worked great. Installation was very simple, and as I demonstrated, I appreciate that it had a very small back end, because if it was any larger, it would be kind of difficult to install it in my fog light enclosure. And also, this one's 2200 lumens per bulb. If it was any brighter, it would produce a lot more heat and shorten the lifespan of the bulb. Overall, I'm very pleased with this, and I'll recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Uncle Hamster. Bye.